Welcome to our third video uh, with data structures and algorithms. And in this video, we're going to talk about big theta notation. We saw that big O notation was an upper bound and big omega was a lower bound. So big theta notation is a tight bound. It's uh, somewhere in between. So we can, as we've been doing, define this mathematically. And we say that if Again, there exist constants, constants A and B are actually this one, it's in between. So we have one more. We have A1 and A2 and B, all greater than zero, such that, and if you can kind of think of big O notation and big omega notation being upper and lower bound, if big theta is a tight bound or somewhere in between, then clearly we're going to have something like a1 times g of n must be less than or equal to f of n, which is less than or equal to a2 times g of n. It's, it's in between, right? For all n greater than or equal to b, then f of n is big theta g of n. Another way to say this, and I'm going to just choose a different color, this one, it's probably pretty close. You can also say that if f of n is big O, g of n, and f of n is big omega, g of n, then f of n is theta g of n. So we can visualize that once again with a plot. These are n. And we can say, where's a good color here? Let's say that here's f of n. And we have, uh, what's this one? So we have some other crazy function over here. This is a1, or actually this would be a2 times g of n. And another crazy function here, a1 times g of n. Whoa. Times g of n. There we go. And as you can see, it's tightly bound, right, by these, this function g of n, two different constants, uh, in front. Uh, so f of n will never be outside, it will never be greater than this one, it will be, never be less than uh, this one. So as we've done before, let's do another example. And let's take f of n equal to, let's use n cubed plus 2 maybe. And g of n also be n cubed. Oops, that's a little messy. n cubed. And we want to know is f of n big theta g of n. And using our definition, we know we have a 1 times n cubed will be less than or equal to f of n. Oh, actually, Let's just plug it in, n cubed plus 2, which is less than or equal to a time, or a 2 times n cubed for all n greater than or equal to b. And if we choose b, it would be 1, nice and easy, then we should say that a1 would be less than or equal to 3 is less than or equal to a2. So 3 will be somewhere in between uh, a1 and a2. And therefore, um, n cubed, yeah, n cubed plus 2 is big O n cubed. And 
n cubed plus 2 is big omega n cubed on this end. Therefore, n cubed plus 2 is big theta n cubed. Therefore, f of n is big O, or big theta, sorry, n cubed. And again, as I mentioned in previous videos, that we're really looking at the highest order here, the, the fastest growing portion of our function is really what is uh, restricting us to our asymptotic notation.